for some of us, we don't have the money to go out someplace and buy some kind of fancy kit or container to hold our brushes in. And I have this thing where I collect brushes. I don't know why I collect brushes. I just collect brushes. What I ended up doing at one point is I was using mugs, coffee cup things. It adds to the decorating level if you're really into that, but also it makes it look nicer. One of the things I like doing is taking pretty bottles. This is a bottle by Argo Tea. And it's a plastic like sticker on a glass bottle. So you could just, if you don't want that, you could peel the sticker off. But I like how it looks. The problem is, is with something like this, my shorter brushes barely fit. So. And you don't want to be grabbing your brushes by the top. That's just not a good way of grabbing your brushes. Uh, some of these brushes are really freaking huge and they're great, except the opening's kind of small. So I can only put um, certain brushes in there, which is good in a way because then I can limit what brushes are together because there are brushes that are made by certain companies in certain ways and I lost my for different mediums. This one was a multiple pack and the blue is a golden talcon. Typically these are used for acrylics, that's what it says. The black talcon is good for watercolors. The bone talcon, tac taclon, I've been saying it wrong the entire time. Having um, a small opening means that I'm forced to limit the number of brushes that I have in a particular thing. And what I'm going to do is, in order to keep a hold of this, because I never remember what brushes are for what. I really don't. Like, my brain just doesn't work that way. So what I'm doing is I'm sticking it in there. Using the handle of the brush to tap it to the bottom. And then tapping it around until I can read it without too much problems. There you go. And I think I'm going to put all my largest brushes, the ones that are really long. Notice the length of the handle. So I'm going to segregate my brushes by height. I'm such a terrible person. Now since these handles on these brushes are so huge, I'm not I'm not playing around with that. There's just no point. Now this brush is one of my old brushes. You want to talk about old, look at it. It's just so beat up. But it goes in there because a lot of these are good for other things. And then these will go in here as well. And now I have my brushes in a nice little storage container. Now, one of the other things that I do if I don't have a glass bottle or a jar to put my stuff in is I will use an empty water bottle. I will cut it at a certain height after measuring it. And this is really cool. These lines are really great for measuring the height of things. So you get them just the right height. If you cut it down too low, not only will the brushes not hold, but the center of balance will tip it over and then you'll knock it over all the time. It just That's just not good. So lining it up, measuring it up <clears throat> to cut it down to a certain height, that's what you want to do. I had to put the camera on mute because this is really crinkly. And then one of the other things I do, because after cleaning brushes, sometimes they can be damp. I'm gonna poke a hole in the bottom if you can. So, this is just about the right height for my, oh, see how they fall over. 
I cut this one too short. Luckily, I have another one. Notice the difference in balance. When I put this brush in there, it'll tip over, but not as readily as this one. Center of gravity. <laughs> Very important. Now, this is a sharp edge. That's not very good. So you take some tape. <laughs> and you're going to want to tape it around the edge. And you're going to want short pieces because trying to tape it all the way around the edge just it's doesn't work well. Tape just doesn't do it. So if you do it at an angle gives it stability plus it helps to clean up those wonky edges and then you can paint or color on this the texture surface if you really wanted to make little patterns so you have something pretty Something nice <clears throat> to put your brushes in. Pretty cool. Thanks, guys, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you like the video, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Make sure you also click the notifications bell to know when I've actually posted something. Made a comment, curiosity, poll, stuff. Because stuff is cool. And remember, get the art out.